Ladies and gentlemen, let's go fishing. Yeah. You know, pond fishing is, uh, is how I got my start fishing. And honestly, I think it's really how a lot of anglers get their start fishing. You know, small waters, accessible by foot, you don't need a ton of tackle, you don't need a boat, you don't need all this fancy equipment. It's super accessible, super easy. It's about just, just fishing. It's not about competitions or money or anything else. It's you and the water. And the other really cool part of it is there's so many options. If you just take the time and do the research, you can find some amazing, amazing fishing opportunities right in your area. And that's what we're doing today. We have done some intensive Google Maps, Google Earth research, and uh, hand-picked three ponds that we're gonna hit today. We are here. All right. All right, we're gonna go knock on the door and um, make sure that we're cool to fish this pond. Might not be home. Oh, I heard someone. It's my brother! <laughs> Psych! This is actually my brother's house. So, what's up bro? What's up? What's going on? It's my brother CJ. And it just so happens that he's got a really juicy pond behind his house. Uh, should I like pull up through here? Is there like a driveway that goes back? Or? Yeah, yeah, y'all just pull around. I'll meet you up okay. out back. Cool. Get Sweet. The fishing. Let's get it. Stop number one, our first small waters, if you will. I've got a good, good feeling about this, y'all. All right, here we go, y'all. Let's get some fish. Let's get it. It's top water time. Y'all, I'm like instantly seeing already here some beds right up shallow, some, some really light spots. I don't know if there's fish on them or not, but we're about to find out. Yeah, wow, you can see them just lined up all along here. We're going to see if this top water can maybe get one of them to show themselves. There he is. Oh, yeah, dude, that was sick. That was sick. He kind of just came up and gulped it. Is that a bass? That's a freaking brim. That is a hungry, hungry, hungry bluegill right there. Oh, my God. Wow, look at that, y'all. First catch. Not what we were expecting on top water, but cool catch nonetheless. See ya, buddy. One down, hopefully many more to go. They love this popper, this subtle popper in the calm water. I've had so much success on this bait, fishing it in situations like this. There he is, there he is. Just like that. That's a, that's a not a half bad bass right there. Skinny old sucker. Look at him. He's long and skinny. And there he is, guys. Not the size we're after, but the species we're after for sure. Nice pond bass. Yes, on top water too. That's what's so cool about it. Let him go. Let him grow. Hello. <laughs> he wanted to come back to us. <laughs> There he goes, right off there. You can see him. So sick, so sick. That's a good fish. That's a better fish. Oh, that was so cool. Still not huge, but man, absolutely just annihilated that popper.
Well, that was successful. We caught fish. We're still looking for a big one though. So we're gonna go ahead and call an audible, make a move here and go to our next location. CJ, thanks for letting us fish your pond, bro. That was awesome. It's Good gonna time. Be, it's gonna be a sweet place to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. We're gonna film, we're gonna film some more stuff out here for sure. All right, keep going straight. We're gonna meet her at her house, follow her to the pond because it is private property. Okay. okay. All right, thanks. All right, bye. So what's the scoop? The pond we're going to now, the pond that wasn't the original plan, is a private pond, but she said as long as she's with us, then we will be um, good to go. So we're gonna go okay. meet her at her place and then follow her out to her pond. Sweet. Uh, tear it up. There's supposed to be some big fish in there. She sent me a picture. Like a good seven, eight pound bass. So, let's see how that plays out. Alright. Well, sweet. <laughs> Plenty of duck. Yeah. Maybe. I'm coming if we run out of food. Have you ever been beat up by a rooster? They're, That'd beat you up. As a kid, they they they're bad, but I don't know. I think I could probably throw the ones and twos. <laughs> Hit them with a swift. The one-two Mayweather. Yeah. Hit them with the one-two Mayweather. Pop 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 pop. They're pop, like. Pop. <laughs> it's all about that flop pop and then that bam. Looks like we've got a situation with a couple different ponds. The people who brought us out here, the ones who know the owners said that this one up here has maybe like catfish in it but the good one is down there the bass one and they, they've said they've told us there's some big fish in here so expectations are always high but this actually looks like a really really good pond it's got a lot of cover in it a lot of wood and lay downs and things like that so I'm pumped all right we're geared up we're gonna go down to that lower pond and uh and probe around here. It looks like it's got a lot of cover in it, so I've got a, um, a brush hog, Texas rig brush hog tied up. This is just a simple Texas rig with a little bullet weight on it. Rigged on an EWG hook, so that'll be nice and weedless. Should come through that wood cover really well. And then um, I've also got a Senko. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna throw a Senko around here, so a little less, a little less of the, uh, the top water appeal from last, last pond, but we're going to try to probe some of this shallow cover, really see if those bass are down inside of there. So, uh, I'm going to go in that corner down there, Levi. There's a free light under the water right there. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Knowing me, I'll probably cast right to it. That'll be ambitious. Oh my god, dude, that's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. I got a big. <laughs> Y'all see that mouth? There he is. Oh my oh god. My oh my god. Holy moly. Yo. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh, that's a tank. That is an absolute tank. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> That is unreal. That is unreal. That thing literally jerked the rod out of my hands. I mean, it, it started pulling me over the other side of that log. I could feel it and man, just, just set the hook and she was there on the jig too. Wow. When you want to catch a big fish, throw a jig. That's, that's it right there. We're going to get this beauty weighed 7.05. 7.05. That is awesome. Get a sweet release on her. Man, that's a tank. It's just so high. Look at how high it sits up out of the water. What a beast. There she goes. 
Well, that's what pond fishing's all about right there. That thing, I was just, I was just kind of yo-yoing the jig <laughs> and then it didn't thump it. It wasn't like a bite. It, it was just like this. It oh. Dude, it was just like, it just brought like, my rod down. Nice. These folks were super nice, allowed us to, to come fish your pond. And uh, I mean, we've, we have no clue about this place or, you know, what was living under here. And lo and behold, a <laughs> seven pounder in the first 10 minutes. I mean, that is just unbelievable. So cool, so awesome, you guys. That's what it's about right there. All right, well, I think we're gonna head to our final destination, which is a pond that we are very familiar with. We showed it on this channel a few times. We thought that one was big. There's ones a lot bigger in the place we're about to go to. Final stop, small waters, baby. Let's get it. Here we are, final destination. Final stop of our pond hopping journey today. I think we saved the best for last. This place has got some giants in it. I've got a good feeling. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's go get them. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> There he is, there he is. That's a giant, that's a giant, it's a giant. Oh, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, stay down, oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a big one, that's a big one. Oh my God, oh, he's going crazy, come on now. Oh, come to me, that's a good one right there. That's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one, let's go. Yes! Look at that one, baby! Yeah! Nice one! Dude, look at that. Absolutely choked that swim bait. Oh, that is awesome! Beautiful. I want to get her way, get her back in, keep her healthy. 5.11. 5.11. Yeah, that looks about right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We're gonna snap a few picks and then get her released. There she goes. <sighs> yeah, baby. Woohoo! That was awesome. That was sick. Another one. Man, things are beautiful. Oh, let's go! Let's go, baby! That's the one we were looking for right there. That's another. That's what it's about right there. That is what it's about. We have been going since literally 7 a.m. this morning. It's now almost 7 p.m. and it has been non-stop. Fun. And that's what it's about, guys. That is that is what this whole series is about. It's it's about showing that waters that each and every one of you can get out there and access. They hold amazing world-class fishing experiences. You don't have to spend all this money to go find these these world-class experiences. They're right here in your backyard, in your neighborhood, right around the corner, just over the over the hill, hidden in plain sight. I hope we showed anyone watching this how true that statement is. Y'all, we are so psyched. Episode one, what an awesome day. What an awesome episode. But hey, there are two more, y'all. Get ready for episode 
2 coming out soon. We'll see y'all. Slab out. On the next episode of Small Waters. We're getting a little risky today, and we're doing it for you guys. So let's ride. Look at that stud. We are getting out of here, y'all. Oh, really?